I realized something super important this one morning. It was a normal morning. I woke up at around 5 a.m., did my normal productivity stuff. I uploaded a video, packed my bag. 6.05. Let's go to the gym. Then I left the house to go to the gym and walk through the empty neighborhood. Nobody in sight with the sun just about to rise. Look at that. Met up with my friend and we hit the gym from around 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, oh, oh. Then I had an hour to kill so I bought supplies for school and sat down outside of Starbucks to write the very words that you're hearing right now. After that I had to attend a learning journey like school field trip thingy and after that the whole class went bowling and you know I looked around at my class and thought what did they do this morning? Hey, f*** off. You too. It's good. Trying to fight boy? Shut the f what I realized was how detrimental school is for people on self-improvement because I'm forced on into a class with 24 other students who are all just normal people. They play video games, they have social media, they eat junk food. And since I'm forced to be around them, naturally because I have to befriend them and we have group projects and stuff, we have to work together, I will inevitably get influenced by them. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn or suck my own dick, but I know we just don't have many similarities. We're not on the same wavelength. So school becomes this dilemma where you can either be a quiet loner, or you can be friends with a lot of people, but whom you know are probably not good for you and who you know you will outgrow. Of course, the easy choice is to keep being friends with them, and that's what I did for a very long time. And that's probably what most normal people will do because it's uncomfortable to be alone. But every day, I just didn't like the fact that I was friends with somebody just for the sake of it. Like really, what is it for? We had fun, we played video games, we laughed, we shared a meal every once in a while. But in essence, it was just a source of pleasure. And when I say it like that, it's kind of obvious what you should do, because the basis of improvement is that we should live above pleasure. So they were probably just instant gratification buddies. And I could send this really positive message like, oh, let's try get get them on self-improvement, but that's not how it works. I honestly don't believe that's possible. I'm quite op optimistic and I try to change people, but I've tried and it doesn't work. After like two hours of arguing about video games, you just realize they're not stupid, right? They understood my what I was saying completely. They're not dumb. They just chose not to take the advice. It seems the more that you argue against the bad habit, the more they argue for it, which then makes them repeat what they believe over and over again in their heads, which then just solidifies their belief. A man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. Bars, bro. I realized if you really want to get your friends onto the good habits, telling them about it is the best way to make sure they never get onto it. It will completely turn them off. They never ask to be preached to. So if you want them to get onto the good habits, the best thing you can possibly do actually is to focus on yourself. And after a couple months, you would have made some visible progress. Maybe your business has started to take off or your body has physically changed. <laughs> now, they'll see the difference between you and them. And from this point, one of two things will happen. Either one, they actually come and ask you about it, which means now they're asking to be preached to. So these are the people that you can actually talk to. These are the friends you should save. Or two, they continue how they are. They just continue on their current path. And that really shows that you're gonna just drift apart. So those people aren't even your friends. Don't go to them, they have to come to you. It truly comes down to this, you cannot save them. You can only help them save themselves. They have to actually want it. The best way to make them want it is to not you know, shove this lifestyle onto them, but to show them the rewards of this lifestyle. I realized that I cannot teach a man anything, even you watching. You can only help them to find it within themselves. And before we help our friends find it within themselves, we should probably find it within ourselves first. Take action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, baby boy? No, I'm, I'm, no, you can't do anything. It's all recorded. Yeah. You know, most YouTubers would say like, you know, hit the share button, you like, follow, subscribe, you hit the share button. But like the point of the video is to not share the video because you're not supposed to tell your friends. So um, don't hit the like button. Don't you dare subscribe. And if you share this video, I will break your kneecaps.